Yes guys, what's cracking? Rushi S here, aka The Jump Rope Coach. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can improve your football with a bit of skipping. Right, so before we get into it, if you want to go straight to the skipping tutorials and the skipping moves to help you play in better football, go to this timestamp. Cool. Right, so why am I making this video and how does skipping and football relate and how does it even make sense? To be honest, I've been waiting to make a video like this for a long time because I really want to capture a broader audience, you know, more than kind of boxing, more than kind of fitness, cardio, weight loss. I want to reach out to the sportsmen in all of us. I don't also just want it to be primarily all about football. This could really be basketball, tennis. It goes, it transcends across all sports, guys. But the reason why I'm focusing on football is because football is a massive passion of mine. And I want to really share with you that in these last few years since I've started picking up a rope and started training with this thing, where I've been working full time and I haven't had a chance to train as much as I used to, that in fact, this has helped me not only keep in shape and keep fit, it's actually improved some skills that when I was 18, 19, um, so I'm 31 at the moment, <laughs> when I was 18, 19 that I never had. For example, just in terms of footwork, reactions, my speed, um, reflexes, coordination, all of these attributes have actually heightened in the last few years that I've been skipping. And I want to share that with you. And I want to hope that from this video, when you go away watching this video, that you actually feel like you want to try and skip in, especially if you're into football or whatever sport you're in, because it will give you that edge over opponents. You won't believe, it will just get you crushing things on the football pitch, on the basketball court, tennis court, whatever it may be. So I'm going to pull up a few clips of the legend that is Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, the two best players to arguably kick a football in our lifetime, in our generation at least. So just taking a look at Messi, just the way he moves in and out, the way he dribbles, the way he changes direction, that all um, requires unbelievable coordination and balance, especially when he's getting hit by opponents as he shifts direction, as he dribbles in and out, um, just the way he has to change his speed, take off, acceleration. Um, moving on to Cristiano, he's just the same. In fact, in the box, he's probably, he showcases a lot more movement, I would say. He's a lot more reactions, a lot more reflexes. He's springing his jump. Um, we're talking about fast twitch muscles here, we're talking about plyometrics, we're talking about using something like a skipping rope to heighten your coordination. It will, it will become second nature for you to change direction, it will become second nature for you to change speed, to accelerate, to, to be first to the ball. And that's because you're always on the balls of your feet with skipping. You're, you're really firing up those fast twitch muscles. The way it helps your brain function is unbelievable. You wouldn't imagine, because you're having to use so many different body parts and so many body parts are moving when you are skipping, you're actually improving your kind of central nervous system. The way you can send messages from your brain to this part of your body, to that part of your body as you're different, doing different moves. This video is not all about trying to teach you how to dribble or how you can score from 30 yards or beat 10 players. It's more of a case to raise awareness that if you learn how to skip, if you try and incorporate it in your training, it will be like spending hours on a ladder or you know in between cones or whatever the usual training mechanism is when you're playing football it just means that you get to do it from your home outside it's just more portable it's not weather dependent right so i hope you enjoyed that kind of first section of this video which is the more kind of educational section let's move on to the second part now where i'll show you my training session with semi-professional footballer richard orlu so sit back relax take it all in if you have any questions be sure to leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next clip. We're going to do some high knees, quick sprints. Nice. So at this point, you're going to concentrate on your breathing. You're breathing through the nose, out through the mouth. So the chest out, core in. So we typically do this for about a minute and then take a breather, move for 30 seconds, and then go again. If you can last that long. <laughs> if you can last that long. But otherwise, that's one form of exercise, and that one suits the footballers down to the tree. So the 
next one we're going to do is some footwork, right? So again, this is all about changing directions. So we want to be doing these type of moves or going forward. Yeah? So look one down here. Can you do that? Yeah? Back and forward. Come on, do it. Angle coordination. Cross this table. Yeah. So these are quite tough moves. But once you master these type of moves, Again, you change these directions, you get the agility again higher. And that's what you pretty much want. When you've got, you got an opponent coming at you, it's a 50-50 situation, you want to be first to the ball or you want to change direction really quickly. These are the type of moves you want to do. You see he's already got it in about a minute. These type of footwork, this is what we're going to be mimicking. And changing direction, another really good move that boxers tend to use, which is keep lying on their feet. Is changing directions from this side and just getting back and forward. And again, you see, just lifting the weight, going forward and backwards with your weight. And then you can do that one, that's it. There you go. Popping back and forward and then changing the leg. <laughs> it's a tough move, but the reason why that one's good is if you imagine you need to take, take off, spring off, or if you're marking an opponent, so Richard being a defender. He might have the striker in front of him, he needs to get in front of the striker. That's the type of movement you're looking for, which is that little first original kind of reflex and that sprint. So, how are you feeling? First. So yeah, I'm pretty tired of talking to you. Another one which works really well is the squat jump. So this is pretty difficult, this is just to strengthen the, the hamstrings and the quads. Again, great for footballers, great for tennis players, any sporting activity you're going to do. You're just going to squat down, the rope goes slower, and you're instead of pulling your feet, it's all about controlling the rope speed, use your momentum, lower yourself down, and you're going to spring up. You're pretty much doing a plyometric jump from, from here, that's what you're doing. And in, in terms of football, again, it's by keeping on the balls of your feet, Springing off, great for headers, getting height, getting elevation. And this is a great beginner version of this move. When you get to maybe advanced, intermediate, you can start to mix it up a little bit. Again, that explosive energy to spring up, change direction. Those are my top three moves for footballers and sportsmen in general. How are you feeling right now? First. <laughs> right guys, I'm gonna conclude the video right there. I hope you found that interesting and educational at the same time, and that now you're motivated to try and get yourself one of these and get skipping. So you know the drill guys, please like this if you found this video helpful, just to show me your support, and comment and give me some feedback to let me know what you want to see in the future going forward and if you have any questions at all. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we've got a lot more coming for you and I'm so glad that I finally made this video because I've been itching to do it for a long time. So take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace. Oh. Oh. Messi.